What is the major difference, and what 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 is your approach that makes it sound country? Because they use the same scales. They no, they use major pentatonic in country. I'm gonna switch guitars for a moment. You hold this, so I can do more string bending. Okay. You can see some of that. If you want to? All right, major pentatonic. Let's say I'm in the key of G. G major pentatonic, if you really study your major scale, you'll see that there are seven notes in a diatonic major scale. I don't know if you know that or not. Uh, in G, that's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. To play a major pentatonic, we have no four and no seven. Leave the four out, which is in this case a C, and no seven, which is the F sharp. We have a scale that looks something like this. Actually, I play the F sharp, but if you didn't play that, it looks like that. So country doesn't use the fourth? Don't use the fourth in the scale because I'm going to show you some of those movements in a minute. Watch what I mean. You're going to tell me this looks like an E minor pentatonic. I'm going to tell you you're wrong in this aspect that I'm trying to show you here. Okay. I never hit the E root, the open E. I'm using G as the one. I'm using an open A, which is the two of the G scale. I'm using a B, which is a three. I'm going to skip over the four. I'm going to go to the open D string, and then I'm going to go to an E. So I, there I have pentatonic major in the key of G. And then I'll keep that th same thing going on the high end. I have G. Country song in G. That's major pentatonic. I'm still in G. Look where I'm playing this thing. A lot of people are going to probably try to take, take the minor pentatonic and then, or play major scale, but you can't get those, those really cool bends like that into your major uh, scale because the major scale is set up more with a smoother, jazzy sound, which I will tell you, it's going to work in certain country because whenever you start listening to like the Bob Wills Texas swing kind of jazz, uh, or country, you're gonna get more of that major scale. Like he, he used to play stuff like had them bouncy movements like that. That's country. That's his. Bob Wills is kind of country. He would. That's a Ionian position. He moved like Dorian. But no, notice Ionian I'm not doing much. in primary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm using G, I'm using the G root, I'm using the A. It's like a position you're Second, calling Exactly, Oregon. exactly. And, and all seven positions of that to, to create those higher registers up the neck. Let me explain that since we're talking about that on a tape. G Ionia starts on the root, on the G, on the one. That means I'm going to play in G on the guitar from the second fret over to the fifth fret. That's where we live. We start on the one. Dorian means two. In G, that's an A. We start on the A. And we play still the notes in the G major scale, starting with the two, the A. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and we finish that up. Does Dorian mean two? Dorian means two. Okay. You can look that up under music modes, even on Google, we'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Frisian means three. I'm starting on a B. Starting on the major. And we're still playing the major scale. And it's not playing in G. I mean, not playing in B. We're only playing notes in G. Okay. You know, so I'm starting right. on the third degree of that major right. scale, still playing only that. Lydian is four. I'm starting on C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Notice I said F sharp. It's, it, G has the sharp in it, right? Mm -hmm. D is the fifth uh, degree of the major scale, which I'm on mix of Lydian. You're using a perfect seven. You're using a perfect seven. Okay. Like I'm playing a D, and I'm starting on the D, I'm playing a G major scale, starting with that. And then the next position, E. Starting E, that's uh, actually Aeolian. And then the last one, the perfect seven, as you call it, the F sharp, which is actually called Locrian. So if you er learn those positions, you're, you can move like more of that. You know, you're doing that bounce that Bob Wills did in the country music, and you can move. In the position versus position. So you're not just playing a little bit here and then sliding into the next one. You keep that bounce happening. Do you, you ever use a flatted seven in country? Country like? Every now and then. Well, the, okay. in that aspect, yes. Now. Sometimes. Now. 
more than you would have in the 60s and the 70s because in the 60s and 70s we didn't sound like rock and roll country we sounded like country okay nowadays you hear a lot of uh um country has this text or this this uh, uh more, southern rock little, you know southern you can hear some skinner in a lot of the newer country you know right so you hear a little flat of seven or more minor pentatonic in it okay and listen to brad paisley on that and let me show you what i'm talking about here let's say i'm in g and i'm using what i told you about the major pentatonic in the open position here and a little minor pentatonic you listen to brad play he'll play like a couple of notes from minor pentatonic then move into the major pentatonic Uh, never used the two and the two sharp and the six sharp. Does he always not pentatonic? really. He does that a lot. He plays off the pentatonics and, and the minors and mm -hmm. majors, kind of mix it. And I'm not going to say in some of the stuff he doesn't bend to it because some of his playing, I'll hear yeah. a bend into one of those twos okay. or the fours, you know. But not, nine times out of ten, whenever you look at watch his play, you, you can hear and see that he's moving from minor pentatonics to major pentatonics constantly in his play. Eric Johnson does it a lot in his playing as well. But Eric Johnson does use a lot more of the major diatonic in his playing more than Paisley does. What's the most used country unison bend? Like in rock, it's going to be oh, right the, uh, here. Uh, the fourth and the flat at seven. Or, or, right, or right. then country. the flat at seven and the root. Those right. two. What is, what's the main one in country? Uh, a two to a three. Two and a three. Okay. Two, I got two to the third. And down in the uh, lead in position below the primary, right? Yep. Uh, uh, in the second octave. Okay. Not, not here. From the two to the three. All right. Well, let's move to classical music. Uh, it's uh, funny that 